Is anyone of you ready to enter the new month? Yes, sir. Who is excited that the Lord has brought us into a good and a new month? Anybody here? Are you sure? Then rise up from your foot. Rise up wherever you are and let's thank God for this new month. Because we have entered a new month. And whenever the Lord brings you into a new month, you should be ready to bless His holy name for that. Amen? Amen. Are you happy about it? Yes, Come on, talk to me. Are you okay about yes, it? Yes, you know, very many of us are not really connecting to God. We are only interested in what God wants to do. That shouldn't be your attitude. You should have the attitude of appreciation. The attitude of what? Appreciation. Saying and thanking God that the Lord, despite my shortcomings, despite my shortcomings, you have confirmed your love and mercy for me. You have confirmed your love and mercy for me. Amen? Amen. God has confirmed his love and what? Amen. Mercy. Not because you deserve nor we deserve, but his love and mercy is what we are enjoying. Are you all here? So let's begin. Let's just stretch forth in our hands and say, Lord, thank you for you have brought me into a wonderful and a glorious month. A wonderful and a glorious month. Raise your voice and begin to acknowledge God. Raise your voice and say, Lord, thank you. You have brought me into a wonderful and a glorious month. A month that I will smile. You will put a new song in my mouth. Oh, a wonderful and a glorious month. A wonderful and a glorious month. Raise your voice and say, Lord, thank you. You have brought me into the month of my expectation. Where nothing will hinder me from getting to where you have arranged for me. A wonderful and a glorious month. You have brought me into this great month. Thank you, Father, for what you are doing in my life. It is you, O oh Lord, and you alone. And it is marvelous in our eyes. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the thanksgiving. Lord, you brought me into a wonderful and a glorious month. Raise your voice, whoever and wherever you are. Oh,
God laid a passage in my heart and we are going to pray for that passage and use it as our theme for the whole of this month. In the book of Exodus 23, verse 20. Exodus 23, verse 20. We are going to pray over this passage. Come on, are you all here? Because God has someone in mind amen. for this month. Can I hear amen? amen? God has someone in mind whenever the month opens. There is a plan God has for somebody. There is a plan God has for somebody. Hello, are you all there? There is what a plan God has for somebody. There is a plan God has for somebody. There is a plan God has for somebody. As we look at this passage, I want you to put it in your mind that that is the, more, the, the, the verse we are going to run with the whole of this month. How many of you have expectations? Anybody that here has expectation? Anybody here? Yes, sir. According to this passage, behold, I sent an angel before you to keep you in the way. Let me add the whole of this month and beyond. Amen. And to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Amen. There is a place God has prepared for you. Amen. Amen. And our topic is, I will get them. Amen. Amen. Our topic, the whole of this one is what? I will get them. Where are you getting to? The place God has prepared for me. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. Now you tell your neighbor, I will get there. I will get there. Say it again, I will get there. Amen. 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 Now, let me, the, the, the good news is that there is a place God has prepared. How many of you can remember that before Adam came, God prepared the Garden of Eden? And Eden had futures. Come on, are you there? You can never compare. You know, all of you, are, as we all are here, including myself, we have some kind of framed expectations. But let me give you a secret. You can never come near what God has prepared for you. You might go close. You might dare to. But it is far outreaching in your mind. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways. So I want you to remove what you're expecting and tell yourself, I will get there, the place God has prepared for me. And nobody will stop me from getting there. Are you, are you, are you, are you ready to pray that prayer? I know you want a financial place. But God has more than a financial place. Amen. You can't get to, I will give you the futures of the land. The, when, what God said to Israel, when you get the, the futures, the characteristics of the place, God has prepared for you. Now your prayer is, oh Lord, oh Lord. I praise your name Amen. for bringing me into the mount of the fulfillment of my expectation. For bringing me into the mount. Come on, are you there? Of my fulfillment, the fulfillment of my long expected place. Are you on there? Yes, Tell yourself, I'll get there. I'll get Nobody will stop me. Raise your voice and pray it as a prayer. The place God has prepared for me, I will get there. Nobody will stop me or hinder me or block me. I will get there. The place for there is a place God has prepared for me. Look at the testimony of our brother. The enemy battled and battled and battled and battled. He made applications for visas. 
I will get the Lord. The enemy battled, but today, today, today. Oh, you will get there. You will get there. The best God has prepared for you. You will get there. Nobody will stop you. No one will stop you. No demonic force will cause you to be hindered. You will get there. You will get there. You will get there. You will get there. The place God has prepared for you. The place God has chosen for you. The place God has ordained for you. The place God has anointed for you. You will get there. I will get there, say it again and again. I am going there. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. The journey has started. Tell yourself the journey has started. I am on the way to God's prepared place.
remove you out. I remove you out. I am getting them. I will get them. testimony. Lord, a new song will be in our mouth. Father, we shall find rest on every direction. On every direction, Lord, there will be rest. There will be rest. There will be rest. And I declare rest on every direction over your lives in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord will send his angels to lead you. You will not stumble on the way. No act. Can I hear that name better? You will not stumble on the way. No accidents on the way. No disappointment on the way. 
every challenge shall be matched with a greater force in the name of Jesus and a greater supply in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. It shall be great this month of September. Here in the Sakama, Lord, the heaven shall be opened over us. I declare an open heaven in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare an open heaven. And so shall it be. Amen. Nothing will stop us. Amen. We shall always remain unstoppable. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. The gates of hell shall not and will never and forever prevail against us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every supply shall be made and made available at the right time in the name of Jesus. Daddy, thank you. We bless the month of September. It's our month of health, amen. month of wealth, amen. month of joy. Amen. Who is receiving it to say amen? amen? This month, somebody will bless you. Amen. You too will bless somebody. Amen. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. tell yourself, I will be blessed in this month, and I too will be a blessing. So shall it be in the name of the Father. Amen. And I sanctify the Lord in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you receive a shout, a better Amen. Amen. Turn your hands for the Lord Jesus and get seated. Mm -hmm. Tell yourself, I receive this month. I receive this month. Hello, say, I receive this month. I receive this month. As my month, As my month. of wonderful testimony. Oh, Are you all here? Okay, now let me tell you a few things I will pray. Can I hear you say there is? There is. Talk to me. There is. There is. God's prepared place God's for my enthronement. Again, there is. There is. God's prepared place God's for my enthronement. There, there is. God's prepared place God's for my enthronement. Now, let's look at it. Look at what the scripture says. Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way, in the way, in the way to bring you into the place which I have prepared. I love that. How many of you love this verse? I love it. There is a place God has what? Prepared. prepared. And tell yourself, I will get there. I will get there. Yeah. Our thing this month is that I will get there. Amen. So when you leave me on your way home, and when you get home, tell your neighbor, my, my pastor said, I will get there. Amen. Amen. And the person will ask you, where are you going? He said, the place God has prepared for me. Come on. I thought you would jam your hands for Jesus. For everybody, there is a place God has prepared to lift you up and give you a position. If a sarcoma is yours, I guarantee you, you will be lifted and enthroned in a sarcoma. Amen. To Esther, it was in Babylon. To Joseph, it was in Egypt. To Abraham, it was in Canaan. Come on, are you all there? To Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel, it was in the land of Babylon as well. So, you discover that all of us do not have the same location for enthronement. We do not have similar, we do not have the same destiny, no, because God has destined you to be blessed somewhere, to be lifted and his name be glorified over your life. And it is God's plan for you to get there. Hello, are you there? It is whose who's plan? Who prepared the place for you? God. Aren't you excited? Put it in your brain. There is a place. Jump your hands for Jesus that God has prepared the place. Jump your hands for the Lord. Let's say, for instance, you came to this meeting and you don't have transport. And the church says, we have provided, we have made provision, we provided resources for your transport. Will you bother yourself when the service is over? No. Why? Resources is already what? Waiting for your transportation. If there is a bus downstairs, will you worry your head? No. Or worry yourself, how do I get home? Because everything has been what? Prayed. And if the God of heaven says there is a place I have prepared, that should give you joy every day. 
Amen. Amen. You may be struggling today, but that struggle is also an impact on how you get there. God will use the struggles in your life to move you your, to move your life further if you accept divine leadership. Now, in this passage, God says, "Who will lead you into that place?" Enjoy. Come on, do I have you here? Yes, sir. Who will lead you into that place? Enjoy. Who will send the angel? Go. Come on, are you there? That should clap your hands for the Lord. I just feel like that. Are you all with me? The Lord will send his own angel. That means he is thinking about how you will get there. It's in his mind. It's in his mind. And he says, I will send an angel. Don't allow me here to preach about angels because nobody will stand against the presence of an angel. Come on, are you there? Yes, sir. Nobody will withstand the presence of God's angel. No man. I talked to you last week about and how an angel defied the prison, the, the maximum prison of King Herod. Am I talking? Yes, and the, the, the devil thought I will keep Peter and destroy him. No. James is different from Peter. God's destiny for Peter is totally different. An angel was dispatched, and that angel entered where Peter was locked and told Peter, Get up. You are getting to where God has prepared for you. The, the King Herod will not stop the journey. Come on, am I talking to somebody? Rasa Kema government will not stop the journey. I'm preaching to somebody. Do you know visa will not stop the, the, the journey? I'm talking to somebody. The enemies, if all of them gang up, they will not stop the journey. I'm preaching to somebody who will get there. If you are the person, wave your hands and shout a glorious amen. amen. Shout it loud and say, I will get there. All the forces of hell combined together, they will not stop you. Am I talking? Let me give you a secret. God doesn't need to send two angels, only one. An angel. <laughs> Sending two will be too much. You know why? One angel killed 185,000 in one night. How many? 185,000. How many nights? One night. If God sent two angels, the whole city will be gone. You don't need more than a single angel to fight your battles as you go. You just need an angel. Am I talking? Do you remember when the angel come on, was bringing out Peter? What began to happen? The doors began to open by themselves. The soldiers were there and they were all blinded. They could not resist the presence of that angel. Wave your hands if you're still here with me. Yes, sir. Are we discussing together? Yes. That is why it is not you. You don't need to think, God, how do I get there? The provisions will be made for you. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Doors will open by themselves for you. Yes, I, I want you, if you believe it, to raise a good amen. Yes. There is nothing our God cannot do. You are so important and so valued that God had to send his own son to die to make sure that you get there. Heaven is number one place, let me start with that, that God has prepared for us. Jesus, the Lord said, behold, I go and prepare a place for you. If I prepare, after the place is prepared, I will come again and take you to myself. Not for one target in your life you should struggle to go is heaven. Yes, sir. You should not allow anything to stop your journey to heaven. And make sure you are on the road to heaven. After your repentance, after you've given your life to Christ, make sure you are on the road to heaven. Am I talking to you? Yes, sir. Jesus said in John 14, 1, let, let's read John chapter 14, 6. John chapter 14. From verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Come on, are you there? Yes, sir. Neither let it be afraid. Jesus said to his disciples, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me too. In my father's house are what? Many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to do what? Prepare a place for you. Oh, I love God. Why is it that God always has it in mind to prepare a place? Prepare a place. Prepare a place. Am I talking? How many of you know that there is a prepared blessing? Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, sir. But look at this one the Lord is talking. He said, I'm going out. Even he was leaving the disciples, he said, I'm going up to prepare a place. 
And when I get to heaven, I will make that place ready. Let's go forward. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. That's why we are expecting the coming of Christ. How many of you are looking up, looking forward to that? Anybody here? I am waiting for his coming. Nothing will stop me to be a part of those who will go with him. Nothing. He said, behold, I go and prepare a place. And if I prepare a place, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am, there you may be also. I love this. Where I am, there you may be. Ah! I visited a lot of good places in this nation. I've seen where the rich and the mighty live, the poor and the most poorest where they live. If the sheikh says, I will send you a car to bring you, number one, you will faint when you see the car that the sheikh has sent to pick you. When the car is driving into such a place where you are, uh, if you were not informed that you were the one whom the uh, sheikh was coming to pick, Let's say the king throws a random privilege and said, get to Rasakema, go to Digidaga, or to uh, uh, Al Jazeera, or to Julan, or to any part. Go and pick any single African and bring to me. And the driver says, sir, I know one. I met, I jammed one in the supermarket. Do you have his number? He's, 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 he, the driver says, yes. Can you call him and say he said yes? Now don't tell him, just tell him you will you need to see him. And there you are one day. A limo. Listen, limos are different. Yes, sir. The Shex limo is not the one you see on the road. No. They are bulletproof limos. Heavy fortified on the outside. The way you enter the inside, there is a car I saw a few days ago. When you enter and sit in the inside, you will say you will go all you need to be do is to speak and say red light on finish blue light on finish bright light on finish television on finish is that Mercedes King go to Mercedes and ask them the Mercedes, the Mercedes brand called the King where am I going here comes this limo and it's coming your way First of all, if you see such a car coming, the admiration alone will cause you, and nobody knows that that car is coming to pick you. Mm-hmm. One day in 2009, is it nine or eight? There was this GMC somebody bought from me, brand new GMC, and it was very new. And I had some visitors from London, one young man from one of these my aunties, and we went to pick him in the hotel. And when he, because the car was brand new, brand new GMC, and he was passing the car. He looked at the car. I didn't know this is what he told us. He said, ah, who knows when I will enter this type of car? <laughs> and he never knew that we were coming to pick him to come and see us with that very car. <laughs> when he entered inside, he said, God, I bless your name <laughs> that my dream has come true. Oh, wow. If I don't own it, at least I am inside it. Yeah. <laughs> this is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is that Jesus says, where I am, you may be also. And so the, you, at the end of the day, you discover that this limo that is passing and turning towards your area is coming to you. And suddenly you receive a call. Hello, Michael, where are you? Hey, how are you? So, 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 Imad, or whatever maybe is a rabbit man. I say, can, I, can, can you please come and see me? Where are you? He said, I'm here. Where? I'm here. Are you seeing any black limo? He said, yes, come towards it. And you get, and you get there. And he says, he winds down. Where have you been? I pull up, put up few charts. I say, enter first. What? Enter first. Where are we going? Enter first. Let's just go and have a chat somewhere. And you enter. I'm creating a dream for somebody. Yes, sir. That person should say every time. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus says, Where I am, yeah. there you will be. Come on, are you there? Yeah. And you enter. By the time you enter, you sit down, you say, Wait. Where are we going? Let me know where I'm sitting. <laughs> he said, let's just go and have a coffee. You know, my yoga sent me somewhere and I just feel like branching. Since we are friends, let's just go and have a coffee. And the coffee, he wouldn't tell you, is with the king. Where I am, there he will be also. Mm. 
what I did, that you will eat also. Amen. Where I sleep, there you will sleep also. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Somebody. And here you are. The, the, the very limo rolls and rolls and rolls. And you discover that when you enter the road, it puts up this ring, 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 ring. Ah, wind sitting, being carried on a limo with a siren. I hope today is fine. We wait, wait, he might tell me, are you sure nothing is wrong? <laughs> because there are things you did not pray for. There are things you did not expect. And we have a God who will give you the house you did not build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will give you the car you did not buy. Yeah, yeah. The God who will relocate you where you never expected that. Yeah, yeah. Rise and shout a better air and sound like the air. Come on, are you all with me? Jesus said, where I am, there you will be also. Imagine if we respect the earthly kings and, and their, in their habitation, their, their possessions, they are glamorous or whatever. Imagine we give respect and honor to these things. How much more the Lord says, I am going to prepare a place. You know who will receive us, who will be our driver? The Bible says the trumpet will sound. Our drivers are angels. At the sound of the trumpet, we shall be changed. Come on. How long in the twinkle of an eye? Suddenly! There will be a change. Mortality shall put on immortality. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Everything about corruption will die. Yes. Suddenly we shall all be raptured. Those who are not in Christ will see those of us who have been prepared. Prepared by the Holy Spirit and prepared to fly. And they will see us. But the most important thing is that it will happen suddenly. They will only see. If they will not see us. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. The rapture will be a supersonic, supernatural intervention of God. Come on. Am I talking to somebody? Else? And in a twinkle of an eye, we are raptured. Two men shall be together. One shall be taken and the other left. Two people will be in the bus. One shall be taken and the other left. Two people will be eating in a, 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 any place. One shall be taken and the other left. Two people will be working in the office. One shall be taken and the other left. I don't know who will be taken, but I have always told myself, I am the one that will be taken. I will never be left. How will I be the one that will be left? I'm speaking to somebody. No matter what the devil is doing with our lives, I will be the one that will be taken. No matter the challenge I have, I will be taken. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place. When I finish the preparation, I will come again. Someone shout, I am expecting him to come. I am preparing for him to come. I am getting myself ready for his coming. Are you all with me? God delights in preparing a place. And there in heaven, he's arranging mansions according to analysis but let's just keep it there let's let, let's not enter into the theological preparation of where we are going but let's accept one thing he is preparing a place for you put it in your mind he is preparing a place for me come on are you all there yes sir it's not with you to do it it is the duty of angels to do it and in the new testament the lord said i will prepare imagine if God takes it up by himself to prepare a place for you. When Adam entered the garden, it was awesome. Everything was there for him. The only thing that was not there was a wife. And God looked at her and said, this guy has everything I want. Horses of different kinds, animals of different kinds. At his beck and call, he will call animal, lion, hey, come here. And Lion will say, yes, sir. No, 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 no objection. He calls the elephant, hey, elephant, march on here. Come, Zebra, I want to feel your, your tall neck. He calls all the animals and he gave them names. What they might, that's authority. Somebody say dominion. dominion. Somebody say authority. That's what Adam had in the place God has prepared. Anytime you enter God's prepared place, there is dominion and authority. Yeah. Yeah. I can't go. Am I preaching to somebody? There is a place God has prepared for you here on earth as well. It's not just heaven. 
Come on, are you listening to me? Yes, Never be in the church and be at home at the same time. Okay. Never be in the church and be with Facebook at the same time. Don't come to church if you will Facebook inside the church. Never come to church. Because God will not be happy with you that you are in his presence and you are doing something else. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Once you are in the church, be with God and connect direct with him. Or else, let me give you, God knows our hearts. He does not play double standard. He does not play what? Double standard. Once you are not with him, you are not with him. No, no, he knows your heart more than you do. Hello, are you there? So when you say, God, help me, help me, you are not praying with all your heart because your heart is somewhere. But when you are here with all your heart, I guarantee you, you will go home with a testimony. Amen. So Jesus said, Well, I am, there you will be, for I will receive you unto myself. That's the number one place that He has prepared for us. Another second place is here on earth. He has prepared that your destiny will shine somewhere. Amen. Did you hear me? Yes, he has prepared that your destiny will do what? Shine. Shine somewhere. That's why I told you to Abraham it was Canaan. To Joseph it was where? Egypt. To Esther it was the Babylon. To Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego it was in Babylon. There is a place God has ordained, destined and prepared. That when you get there, your destiny will shine. Amen. Yeah. Rise up, we are going to pray it before I continue. Rise up, everybody. Father, direct me to the place of my destiny. Lord, manifest my destiny. From here, from here, from here, from here, manifest my destiny. Lord, I don't want to waste my time or labor in vain. Manifest. Lord, my destiny, raise your voice and pray that prayer. God is hearing you, everyone, for pray and say, Lord, manifest my destiny. Lord, lead me to the place you are prepared for me. Lord, open my destiny from here. Pray that prayer. This is a part of the journey to your destiny. Don't So shall it be. I decree that that place shall be made manifest to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be seated. Now, the next thing here is destiny helpers have been arranged to support you in the place God has prepared. Destiny helpers has been positioned. Hello, are you there? Once you enter the land where God has ordained you, once you enter the place he has located for you, the moment you begin to walk into, God has designated, designated helpers, position them on their way to support you, because that is the place he has prepared. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Let me tell you the destiny helpers who made Joseph's journey possible. Number one, his brothers. Are you there? Yeah. Number two, Potiphar's wife. <laughs> that woman was the one who helped Joseph to enter prison. <laughs> Why are you laughing? If Joseph did not <laughs> Talk to me. She was the one who has okay now. If you start the journey from his brothers, the bottom ticket? No. They pushed him by force? No. They they poured down cruelty. Cruelty and wickedness was what pushed Joseph out of his family. 
Joseph Johnny was very, very ironical in nature. Those who are supposed to help you became your number one enemies. You know what they say one day? Look at him coming. He's a great dreamer. Every time he tells us, I'm going to be the president, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. Today, we are going to kill him and let us see what will become of this dream he has. Dream killers. <laughs> that was their determination. <laughs> and God allowed it. So when they came, they, they said, the one said, let's kill him. No, the other one said, no, let's not kill him. And they dragged him aside and tore his clothes, they removed his clothes and took it away. They removed his outward clothes, but they did not remove his destiny. Arrows can be shot at you, but the invisible one remains. Yeah. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. I thought you would shout a bit at me. So whoever is fighting to take away your destiny, let me tell you, shout it like my destiny is not in the hand of a man or a woman or a person or a people. I will get there. Say to me, I will get there. I will get there. I will get there. No matter the opposition, I will get there. Who is who is with me this evening? Are you there? I mean, these are the destiny helpers. <laughs> See, destiny helpers are not always the ones that comes to say, hey, remind me your name was your name. Charles. And someone will say, hey, Charles. I have heard that you want to do this. Oh, this is the ticket to the easy lie. Destiny helpers are sometimes those who look at you. This guy, you are an African. You are not supposed to work in this company. Today you are sacked. If I see your leg in this company, I will I will throw you into prison. Get out! I, okay, I cancel your visa. God! Somebody said destiny helper. Destiny destiny helper. helper. So destiny helpers can come in various ways. And you fight and fight and fight and fight. And nothing happens. And it cancels your visa. And you're back home. And as you're on your way home, God, what have I done? I was faithful in royal mission. I served you. I made all kinds of donations for that church to start. God, what have I done? And God keeps quiet. The moment you land in your home country, wherever you came from, mm. and after a week, here comes. The Korea company. Mm. Oh. Mm. An old friend you have spoken before, mm. seeking for an opportunity to travel to the US. <laughs> you receive an opportunity. What is this? American visa. <laughs> you won American lottery. Amen. I'm giving you how it works. So, that God can close a door and you cry and cry, you will never open it because a better door is waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have a we shout it. Yeah. Yeah. A new door shall be open to somebody in their boat. A better door shall be open for somebody in this world. A better door shall be open for somebody. They serve it and shout a better amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah, right. So they pushed him out. At the, at the conclusion, they said, throw me to the pit. They threw me to the pit. Forget him there. And while he was in that pit, the Bible said there was no water. See, nobody will kill your dream. Yeah. Because it's not in the hand of a man. Yeah. What's your name? You can, uh, nobody will kill your dream. Amen. 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 I don't care what is happening around you now. You are going to smile in the next two weeks. Amen. Are you all here with me? 
dream killers are always there. Leave them! If you try to relate with somebody and he or she hates you, you've done your best. That hatred is good. Everybody should not be your friend. I know, everybody shouldn't be your friend. Come on, are you there? If everybody is your friend, you're there. it's dangerous. Because enemies, will, they will talk, some of them will turn to enemies you wouldn't know. You need some enemies to hate you into your destiny. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, hate me. Ah, praise God. Oh, thank you for hating me. If I try to be friendly, I'm like, no, come on, excuse me. I don't like you. Okay, thank you, sir. That's all. I love it because you will, you are done not liking me will cost something will cost me to leave you because something is dangerous about you who is here so that's it so they pushed him out and when he was in that pit i'm talking about destiny helpers positioned to take him to the place god has prepared if they had loved him he would and cherished him pampered him he will remain on at 11. And he will not enjoy the leadership God has ordained for him. There are places that should make yourself, make your life uncomfortable. Like when a child wants to leave the mother's womb. Once the time comes, the baby cries, Mommy, it's okay. You've tried. Thank you for these nine or ten months. I must come out. The mother cried, No, Mommy, I am coming out. You've been a girl enough. Now you should be a mother. I'm talking to someone. Yes, sir. And the mother said, Oh! No, mommy, I am coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You must push me out. Oh, yeah. You know, babies don't come with care. No, they are pushed. Push. See, that pushing is a good push. Yes, sir. I don't know whether I'm pushing to someone. Come on, are you there? Yes, so the baby says, Mommy, I want to come and become the person you have been dreaming about. Mm. You've been dreaming about a baby. You've been dreaming about to have me. You, Mommy, I am coming out. And the mommy shall pain, 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 pain. I am coming. Push, push, push. And suddenly, pain. The baby comes out. That's how your miracle will happen in the world of this September. Into that baby was pushed by the very mother. If you give mothers chance, the passage to come into the world, mothers will make it easier. But nature has made it that it has to come by pushing. Some blessings are the demands that you should be pushed into them. Who is here? So they pushed Joseph out of the house and pushed him and sold him as a slave. So he entered Egypt as the number one taker. No visa. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. Are you there? No passports. No passport. Nothing. Too much. No, there's not too much. He didn't have overstay because his name was not in the system. He is number one. <laughs> you have a question because you came to the right one, right? This guy was smuggled inside. <laughs> it does not matter the way you came in. <laughs> Who is here with me? <laughs> what matters is that you have landed in the place of your destiny. <laughs> Out, you can't push him back to the mother's room. Oh, Destiny has begun. Yes. Tell yourself I've already entered. Yes. Tell yourself I'm in the land, in the place of divine location. Yes. Are you with me? Yes, sir. 
So that's why I mentioned only three. Number one, his brothers. Number two, you know, when he landed in Egypt. We will continue next week after a few minutes. When he landed in Egypt, he was in the house of Potiphar. And he began to grow from a house, an assistant. That is, in the kitchen, not in the palace, no? Assisting the wife in the kitchen and all domestic affairs. And the man began to spot this guy has administrative, you know, gifts in him. And he called him, Joseph, I want to transfer you from kitchen to take care of my bedroom and other things. And he moved him towards that side. <laughs> so, not only that that woman's eye was on him. What a handsome. The Bible said Joseph was handsome and well fed. Yes, what that means that his physique, he was a macho guy. Stature wise, he was cute. He's not a guy you can pass by chance if you're a young girl and unmarried. You will always pray be la koso be la kata pussy husband. <laughs> and he looked towards him. So this lady was already married and could not resist the presence of this young man. So every time I, when the uh, boss travels, he would come to Joseph. So the cute boy come inside and dress the room. And while he's dressing the room, you know you're a very handsome guy. This madame, your madame, now excuse me, excuse me, ma. this is not okay, this is not okay, please, 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 please. Ma. And he resisted and resisted and resisted. I wondered the woman said that today will be whether you like it or not. It is either you rape me or I rape you. <laughs> <laughs> and the woman just said, you know, let me tell you, don't allow anything to derail your focus. Did you hear me? That's why you should be careful when somebody invites you to a party. A single party can derail your vision and mission. A single party. A single party. When you drink with them, you may not know what they have added into the drink. They might be desiring to poison somebody and it affects you. Be careful when you go. A single. That one was just one thing, a single meeting with Joseph. But Joseph refused that single meeting. Talk to me. Yes, sir. The girl can tell you, come and make love to me. That single love making can get her pregnant and the vision and dream in life is diverting. Both of you are in trouble. She gets pregnant. You don't have to, but she doesn't have. <laughs> and with, come on. That's the truth about it. That's the truth about it. And once it happens, it, it may be a drink, it may be a love making, it may be an outing, it may be anything pleasure. Be careful, be careful. It does not come in a single direction. The devil can disguise in many ways. Be careful about the people who are very close. This woman could succeed to push Joseph because Joseph was very close. But she's, he, he stood his ground. I say, Madam, no matter what you try. So that day, the, the, the boss was not home. The woman tried and he left his clothes. Keep it, since that's what you want. And ran away, always run away from evil. Amen. Because as you run away from evil, you are running into your destiny. Yeah. Amen. Somebody shout amen. 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 And that was it. And when the boss came, you see, the young man you brought came in to rape me. And when he forced me, I said, No, I shouted, twisting the story. The Bible says, No weapon that is formed against you mm. Mm. shall prosper. Amen. 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 Am I talking to somebody? Amen. So he was thrown into prison. Thank God for that divine connection. Mm. The prison was divine what? So it's not every connection that comes on the street. Some connections may come covered indirectly towards the source you never had planned to come. If you had told Joseph, because when he was entering, using the statement he made, the day he interpreted the dreams, he said to those to one of them. Please, when Pharaoh release you, remember me. 
for I'm a Hebrew young man, and I was brought into this prison for what I don't know about. This is injustice over my life. Please remember me. The man he pleaded with gave him interpretation and prophecy, and the prophecy came to us in the man who forgot him. But that connection remained. Mm-hmm. Somebody shout to me. Yeah. Where am I going from? Look at the woman. So there are destiny helpers positioned to take you to the land and the place of yes, divine yes, promise. Yes, sir. There are destiny helpers. They may not carry gold and silver, come on, to give you. Some of them may carry dagger. Some of them may come up with attacks. Mm. All those attacks are pushing you forward. Because you must get to where you ought to be. I'm preaching to somebody. Yes, sir. So whatever you are going through here, they are the steps or dead to relocate you to where I'm preaching to somebody tonight. Yes, if you're the person, shout a three times, amen. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Are you there? Yes, Destiny help us. They, some of them will come with good approach in a good way. But sometimes God disguises them and you will not know that they are destiny helpers. Meant to launch you before the aircraft takes off. The aircraft must exert a very high degree of energy. It will roll and roll, the engines will roll from making a, a, a very Acceptable noise to a noise that if you're right outside, you will not enter. Once it enters, that does when the energy is sustained because it wants to fly. There are times pressure comes on you, comes on you, comes on you. God, take away this pressure. No, it is time to deliver. Amen. 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 Lord, let it go like the Lord Jesus prayed and said, Father, take. No, the father said, No, we agree you must die. And by dying, you will deliver many. And by this pressure, you will pass through it. The Bible said, Consider him who had this contradiction of sinners against him, lest you faint under pressure. Whenever you have some pressure, ask God, Father, give me the grace to pass through this pressure mm-hmm. and get to where I am going. Amen. I think somebody will shout a bit. Am I? running a teaching for somebody. Tell yourself the pressure in my life. Talk to me. Say, the pressure in my life. Every pressure in my life is a destiny helper. Lord, keep me forward. I will never go back. I am moving forward. Sometimes when they don't pay your salary for three months, they are destiny helpers. <laughs> Come on, are you there? You may not understand where God is going at the beginning. But at the end of the day, you will say, God, let this man owe me for another six months. Yeah, there are times when it happens. Can we imagine the day Joseph became the, the, the prime minister and the young man sits down to run a check, to run you know, a, 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 I mean, a, a photography of the past to check. He sits in the office. Here am I. My brothers, thank you for hating me. This woman, thank you for pushing me into the prison. Talk to me, somebody. These are the stepping stones that pushed and pushed and pushed that God used. They were instrumental to actualizing that dream. Who is here? Are you with me? Yeah. Now tell yourself, I will get there. I will get there. You have searched for a job. You know that this done no job, no job, no job, no job, and your visa finish. You know what God wants to tell you? I can still do a miracle at the end of your visa. Yeah. Yeah. And I can still surprise you when your visa is no more. I don't know who I'm preaching to this. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yourself, I will get there. Yeah. No matter what is on the way. I will get there. I will get there. I will get there. No matter the opposition, no matter who is there, attacking, I will get there. The place 
God has prepared for me. For sure. Who believes it is possible? Yes, sir. Every challenge is a destiny helper. Every challenge is who? Destiny helper. As my our brother here says, if 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 you are about to slow it, that Araba is a destiny helper. <laughs> Teaching you that I can hold your salary for three months and you will still survive without his salary. We still eat without his salary. God will still make a way without his salary. So the salary is under savings. At the end, the Holy Spirit will slap you one day. I pay this guy his salary. And we run around. Go to the MRS and please the expression on my head. Please give me money. And they ask him, sir, what is it? I'm going my, my, my workers for the past six months. God has kept that money to me. I'm preaching to somebody. Yeah. Shout amen. Yeah. Every opposition in your life is a destiny helper. Yeah. Every disappointment is a destiny helper. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Don't blame God. Don't cancel it. Know that there is a thing God is preparing you for. And the answer is, I will get there. I will get there. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Let's talk so far. Now, tell your brother, I will get there. I will get there. Now, tell your sister around you, I will get there. Will get now, there. tell somebody, you will get there. Will get the place, tell him the place God has prepared for you. Rise up, everybody. Join your right hand to the person or the left on you by your side. We are going to pray for one another. No, don't worry, don't worry. Just join the person you are holding and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. from today, oh Lord. I, decree I decree your divine hand divine over hand. this brother, brother. And, and sister. So call whoever is by your side. I decree your divine hand upon this person from today. Let your hand, Oh Lord, lift her into the place you have prepared. Father, let your hand pray for the person, the person on your right, the person on your left, pray. And say, Lord, take this brother, take this brother, send your angel over his life. In Jesus, precious name, we have all prayed. Amen. That we are forever grateful. Amen. It's been a wonderful night with you, beginning with you in such a way in this month of September. Ah, the month of completeness. Everything shall be complete in our lives. Yeah. Lord, as you have promised, we shall get there. Yeah. The place you have prepared, we will get there. Yeah. Father, we are sure of heaven. Because we've surrendered our lives to you. Lord, we will get to your presence. Yeah. We will not miss the rapture. Yeah. That event should be more. Yeah. 